So Winchester City are underway uh, with their pre-season campaign with a 6-1 win at Wessex Premier League side Alton. I'm delighted that I've been able to catch up with um, with the City player and also with our first team coach Ryan Price. Um, but first off, I managed to catch up with a, uh, a returning player, I.K. Hill. I.K., okay, first of all, welcome back to the club. Um, before we talk about what's been going on on the pitch, um, first question. So, obviously, we're delighted to have you back at the club. Um, what made you come back to Winchester City? Obviously, you had um, a successful spell at Westfield, and we are delighted to have you back, but I'm just wondering why. All right, Matt. It's great to be back. Um, yeah, the reason why I come back is because, first of all, it's a great environment. I really get on with the boys, the coaches, the staff, and it's just really a great environment to be around. And also, I just wanted to test myself at step step three and kind of push on, really, and kind of establish myself as a step three player and then push on in the leagues and help the t- this team get to where they want to be, really. For sure. No, that makes makes absolute sense. And you know what? We, like I said earlier, we're absolutely delighted to have you back. Um, so, moving on to um, matters on the pitch. Obviously, um, we made our way through the opening sort of set of pre-season, uh, pre-season training sessions. How have you found training since uh, since you came back? Pre-season's been hard at the moment. It's nice coming back, seeing all the boys, boys and staff and everyone and just like getting together again. But personally it's been hard it's been tough a lot of running and it's just getting up to speed again really but overall I've really but still I've really enjoyed it and yeah just like raring to go really for the season yeah that sounds about right I know um pre-season is notorious for uh, for getting the miles in lots of yeah always lots of running mate um so good I'm glad everything's going okay so um first game back 6-1 win at Alton and you started and played the first 45 minutes. How did the game go for you? As a collective, I think the game went well. We, um, As we've got a, new, a lot of new players, it's nice to kind of gel with them again and like kind of understand how everyone's playing and getting up to scratch, really. But for me, personally, I felt I felt all right. I felt I could, could have done better. Could have been just getting used to being match sharp again. But overall, I'm happy how I performance, how I performed, but there's always things I can improve on and it's just getting back to the training ground really and like practicing and more matches I play, the sharp I'll be really. Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously that's what pre season's all about is is getting that match sharpness so that uh, you're ready for go ready to go when the um when the season starts at the beginning of August. Um so obviously up next is a trip to Corsham Town at five o'clock on Saturday and then we've got a tricky test away to Slough next Tuesday night. Um, how are you feeling um, sort of ahead of those ahead of those fixtures? Looking forward to them both, really, as they'll both be tough tough tests and it'll be good to get more minutes in the tank and, like, it's another step forward to the first game of the season, really, and it'll be good to test ourselves against higher opposition as well, just to, to cause as, as they say, like, to be the best, you've got to play the best. So it'll be good, really. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Well, listen, OK, uh, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. And great to see you back in the City shirt. Look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks, Matt. Can't wait to be back in the City shirt. So I'm delighted to be joined by Winchester City's first team coach and newly installed under-23s manager, Ryan Price. Um, Price, you first of all, um, I hope you had a good summer. How have you found it being back at pre-season training? Yes, good to be back, actually. Um, obviously, we had whatever happened last season, the euphoria of the, the playoffs. And, but it's good to be back amongst the lads and obviously stepping into the management now side of things and uh, a new fresh challenge with the 23s. And this, this all stuff that I'm looking forward to. Uh, pre-season started off well. We've had four really good but really hard and tense sessions for... Um, any games which is benefit the lads because we they obviously need that core fitness before they go into the games to get sharp and get back to that match fitness. Which to give the lads their credit, they've worked they've worked bloody hard this pre season in their <laughs> four sessions. And uh, there's been a there was a lot of tired legs tonight of the game which we wanted. We wanted people going into the game heavy legs and uh, going through the uh, pain barriers as such. And, uh, but no, it's been so great to the lads. They've done exactly what we've asked. And it's been really good to be back. Good. So like you say, um, pre-season is 
pre-season, especially the start of it, it's always incredibly tough. So the fact the lads are going in heavy, heavy legged is a good sign. It means you've uh, it means you've been working them hard. Yeah, no, it's been really good. We've uh, we've had a good mix of uh, fitness work, endurance work, uh, ball work, small sided little games. It's been very well varied on the, in the sessions we've done. But ultimately, the main thing of pre-season is to get fit, which is, there's no way around it. The way you get fit is working hard, and the lads have done that. And uh, we, we pride ourselves on being the, the fittest team in the league, regardless of what league we're in. And uh, that will benefit us come the season when we're in the 80th minute and we're back against the wall. We know that we can rely on our fitness, and other teams won't outwork us. They won't outrun us because of how hard we work during this out, out season and pre season. Sure, yeah, absolutely. No, I totally agree. So, how's it been for you this pre season so far? Obviously, um, your background would be you, you'd be one of the lads normally that would be out there um, getting all the miles in and getting all the runnings. How's it been on the other side of it? I'm not going to lie, it's been nice. Um, <laughs> I, have, I haven't missed, the, I'm not missing the running. Um, that feeling after you've worked hard all the two hours and that feeling of feeling sick after a session I haven't missed any of that <laughs> no um, I can imagine the lads, have, the lads have given me quite a bit of stick because I haven't been joining in and I've been on the other side of the fence giving them a bit of stick and uh, making them work harder um, but yeah but it's, it's been good it's something that I'm really enjoying I uh, appreciate obviously Craig having me and his management team and uh, trusting me with the under 23s which is something I'm really looking forward to and now developing my other side of the game, which is obviously the management side, which I'm keen to learn and uh, soak up and learn as much as I can from Craig. And now obviously Luke's come on board and learn how, learn things from both of them, which I'm excited about. Absolutely, yeah. And um, like you say, it's with Luke coming on board as well. It's it's uh, it's another sort of fresh pair of eyes. It's it's some fresh blood coming into the club, which which is always good. So how um so obviously. First game, first game back tonight. How uh, obviously a six-one win at Alton. How did it go for the lads? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Lots of positives to come from the night. Uh, I think from any uh, pre-season game, first and foremost, you don't want to come home from any injuries, which uh, we haven't, which was nice. nice. Yeah. Uh, the lads have all got forty-five minutes in their legs, which is what they need at the moment. There's, they can't do too much because obviously that's where when the fatigue and the injuries are going to happen yeah so they've got 45 minutes in the legs um scored six goals which is good uh there's a lot of lads we've obviously got a new lot of new faces yeah so obviously we've lost a lot um it's good to see um the the link between players that haven't played with each other before and that natural link and the they're on the same sort of path at the same same sort of time, which was nice to see because they haven't played any football really together. Um, but no, really good, really positive night. Um, saw a few players that we've that we haven't seen play before um, that were that have come in um, to have a look at, which they were done really well. Um, but no, it was good to get the first one out of the way, get the minutes in the legs, and now we quarter Saturday's game away at Caution. Yeah, absolutely. Like you say, so it's trip to Caution at five o'clock on Saturday, and then a tough test uh, next Tuesday night away to Slough. So, so obviously the games are then coming in thick and fast. Do you think the uh, Do you think the plan, at least in the short term, is to carry on giving the lads um, sort of sets of forty five minutes, and then see how they get on? Yeah. So the plan, I think, uh, the plan for Saturday will be we're looking to take another twenty two players and get another forty five minutes to everyone's legs. So over. The last couple of days, everyone would have got a full 90 minutes, um, which will be another hard test. Obviously, Caution are a good team. I can remember we played them in the FA Cup uh, just before COVID hit, which when they were a big, strong, physical team, as what I can remember. And I imagine we'll get the same sort of test from them on Saturday. But I think it's a nice little setup down there, a nice pitch. We had a go and we had to play good football. Um, but most importantly, it's about get minutes in the lads legs and then obviously like you say we've got a, a extremely tough game away to slough on the on the tuesday night which will be a complete different kettle of fish will be these this game and i imagine saturday we'll see a lot of the ball come tuesday i think there'll be a lot of us um 
keep our shape, be a bit more disciplined than what we've uh, that we're going to need to be because they're obviously an extremely good team. Um, and then we'll, we'll look we'll look at forward to Tuesday after Saturday. But I imagine Saturday we'll start to look to give people a few more minutes. We'll start pushing people for an hour, 70 minutes, and to try and get a few more minutes in people's legs. And then obviously, like you said, the game's come thick and fast. I think we're playing every Saturday, Tuesday for the foreseeable right up till... Um, the season starts now, which we've got a very good but tough pre-season schedule. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah. Um, so obviously with the games coming coming thick and fast, it'll be uh, it'll certainly be an interesting few weeks. Well, Pricey, listen, thank you so much for your time. I re- really, really appreciate it and look forward to catching up with you again soon. Right. Yeah, no, brilliant. Lovely to talk to you, Matt, and I will hopefully see you at a game shortly. Thank you very much. Nice one. Cheers, Th- mate. Thanks, Pricey. Take care.